All right, folks, welcome back. This is episode three of the seemingly endless Perkeo saga. Here's a quick look at the deck so you know where we are. Uh, ignore this ace here. It's mostly these red seal kings. Uh, most of them gold cards for now. And then we've got the one steel card. The main scoring technology that we're working with We've got the barons that give us extra 1.5 times on all of our kings. And so, you know, just similar to the steel card effect. And then the mime re all of those held in hand abilities. The steel card, the baron, also the gold cards at the end of the round giving us extra money. And we calculated last time uh, the optimal scoring configuration. Assuming we have all of our red steel cards, then we want three copies of mime and then this blueprint copying this or sorry this brainstorm copying this blueprint copying these barons for four total copies of baron um we also have to keep in mind uh you know i'm gonna need you to remember this for me uh Perkeo gives us you know consumables every time we leave the shop and so we want to be uh, copying our Perkeo. And so here we've got again brainstorm copying blueprint, all of these copying Perkeo, giving us each round four new copies of Cryptid. And this is kind of the end game that we're going for. Uh, we want to get to a point where we have a bunch of Cryptids saved up, and then when we use all of the Cryptids all at once, it will, you know, each time you add cards to your hand with a Cryptid, uh, it sort of breaks the hand size limit and so you can kind of use a bunch of cryptid cards to get uh, You know super big hand size and then you know get all of these re-triggering effects from the Baron and the Mime And that's going to be how we're trying to break the scoring limit in the game score higher than the game engine is able to record for us All right, we had this question come up last time of like you know, is there anything that I might be re-rolling the shop for? Is there anything that would improve our standing here? Or do we kind of have what we want already, you know, copying our Perkeo? Um, in the episode two, we had for a while, we had the showman. And so when we were going through the shop, we could get repeats. We could get multiple copies of Baron. We could get multiple copies of Blueprint. That's kind of off the table now, right? We've traded in our showman for these jokers that we have now and so maybe one thing that we could try to get is a negative showman you know as rare as that is uh, that would work um, a negative copy of the invisible joker that would also work and so maybe um, some more attainable goals maybe we're looking for ectoplasm and then after ectoplasm, after creating a negative, then it should be easy to find a showman or it should be easy to find maybe an invisible joker. Even though it's rare, we have a lot of money. We have a lot of purchasing power. Um, if you haven't seen episode two, you should check it out. Uh, you can see how we gathered all of this money. Um, but for right now, let's work on, you know, what does our shopping strategy look like now if we're just sort of re-rolling? Um, I want to take the extra hand size voucher, no problem, that's great. Celestial packs, because we have the telescope voucher, these are giving us Pluto cards. So rather than trying to play five of a kind, rather than trying to play flush five, if we just play one card, then all of those extra cards get all of these Baron and then Mime triggers and re-triggers. And so it actually scores higher than what you would with a flush five. Uh, let's see here. I want Temperance for $50 and actually I want as many copies of Temperance as I can get. I'm also, you know, trying to get rid of this Ace here with maybe a Death card. So let's reroll first. Maybe I can find a Death card and then open the Arcana pack after. Or Ectoplasm is what I'm looking for. Random negatives. Uh, Fool here for another copy of Temperance. I'm not going to complain about that. We'll use Hermit first and then Temperance after. Do some re-rolling. Strength I don't need. Hermit again. Uh, 
we are on the ghost ghost deck and that's what's allowing us to find the spectral cards in the shop that's how we ended up with these cryptids How much re-rolling do I want to do? So I've advised in the past sort of spread out your re-rolls between different shops. I'm planning on going for a while. You know, maybe like 10 more rounds, maybe like 20 more rounds. And so let's do that. We'll re-roll until it says 20 and then we'll stop. And so what's inside the Arcana pack? We can make more hearts. We can spin the wheel. Let's spin the wheel. And then pass. All right, and that's kind of it. So let's make sure Perkeo is being copied as many times as possible. Oh, yeah, this is interesting here. I never check the boss. I always tell uh, my students, my Balatronomic students, I always tell folks to check the boss and I always forget but uh, here the one time I do check it this is kind of important the head is going to debuff all of our hearts meaning we don't get any of these re-triggering things so something to keep in mind as we're shopping I'm looking for ways to get not hearts okay challenge accepted uh, also here we've got um, let's see we said the optimal scoring configuration looks like this if we would just want to score the most assuming that we have the steel cards which we don't necessarily have yet um, but maybe I don't need all of that much in order to win and so maybe what I'll do is instead of doing the most scoring one if I just make more copies of mime by doing this so rather than copying the Baron, if I'm copying the mine, then I'll get more money. Uh, not that I need the more money, but hey, you know, it doesn't hurt. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, that's, yeah, 10 to the 19th, so that's good. You know, even we can go in here and we can check the blinds here. Uh, the next ante is going to be 10 to the 16th. So we can do the next one, sort of the same configuration, maximizing money. And then when we get to ante 16, we'll switch to something that's slightly higher scoring. And then if I want to, I can just slide my Perkeo in there. That makes things pretty easy as far as like rearranging. I just have to remember to do that. Uh, the Celestial Pack can give me another Pluto card. Already, you know, level 50 Pluto. So, you know, each one doesn't matter too much. Maybe I can find a Death card here. Or a Hangman, I guess I, technically I would accept that as well. Ectoplasm. Bootstraps, unfortunately, happens after, after all of the times 1.5s. Unfortunate. Uh, I don't need the chariot yet. I don't need to make more steel cards yet, though something on the radar for the future. All right, we are, I said I was looking for something to make hearts and then maybe I wasn't paying attention. What would be something that could make hearts? Or sorry, not hearts. Uh, we didn't get it yet. So, all right, good luck in the next shop.
I bet you there was something I just rolled past that I wasn't paying attention. Well, we got so much purchasing power here. We got so much reroll power. We should be able to find something else. All right, let's slide the Perkeo back in. Uh oh, we don't have any Arcana packs. This will do it. Moon will work. Right? Uh, do we want a negative erosion? It does block duplicates, is what it does. So I'll pick it up. Oops. Wait, let's not put it there because I don't want Brainstorm to copy it. Okay. Um, yeah, maybe is there an ectoplasm for me? I would take an ectoplasm. A star. You know, maybe what we'll do is we'll mix it up. You know, we'll do some clubs and some diamonds. That seems reasonable. Or at least it doesn't seem unreasonable. Foil on the brainstorm, cool. Uh, there's that hanged man that I wanted potentially to get rid of my ace. Um, I think we can do it in the future. Um, for right now, I wanna make sure that I'm able to beat the boss that debuffs my hearts. You know, so when we did the, uh, the plasma deck run with the idol and the king of hearts, uh, you know, someone asked in the comments, hey, what happens if the boss debuffs your hearts or debuffs your kings? Um, the answer is you just die. <laughs> uh, however, this time, since we don't care about what suits we have, this Baron only cares that they're kings, then we have the flexibility that we can change the suits. Bunch more copies of Cryptid. So, you know... Each round we get plus four copies and each copy gives us, you know, two kings and so plus eight hand size each round and then each, uh, you know, of those is however many triggers and stuff like that. So we could get pretty big scores is what we're trying to do. Okay, uh, the ace can go away. The king of hearts can become diamonds and we can even if we want make more with cryptid I don't think we need to do that yet we can go moon here now we've got a mix of clubs and diamonds oh now now the deck looks terrible uh, immediate regret I'm sorry you had to see that. Uh, this one doesn't matter if it's debuffed, right? If we play it. I apologize. It's gonna have to be this way. You know, with all the stuff, you know, all the polychrome and uh, the gold cards and stuff like that, it's really hard to tell what the suits are. I think that's so. So used to the high contrast cards, being able to tell the suits apart. By the way, if you haven't done it already, go into the options, turn on the high contrast cards. Okay, let's move Perkeo back in here. Uh, temperance for 50 bucks. I'm going to... You know, it's funny. Normally with the uh, the clearance sale voucher, it reduces the cost of your jokers and then so your temperance is worth less money. But because we had the gift card and it kind of like increased the cost of everything or some things that we had at the time, that, you know, the temperance isn't affected. I do want to open the celestial packs first and that's in case we find a fool. Instead of copying these Plutos, I like to be able to copy this temperance. I can't see what the boss is yet. 
Uh, let's see here. That fool is copying my emperor. So I guess I'll use the hermit first. Hex we don't want. Ectoplasm is the one that we want. Uh, do I want an extra moon for emergencies? I don't think that's going to be necessary. Uh, I will take extra Pluto, but not use it. All right, we're good. All right, Perkeo, do your thing. Nice. Okay, let's switch it back over here. Okay, no repeat hand types, no problem. Uh, I only plan on playing one hand. Do I want to get $62 from the handy tag? or doubled $120, I think we actually get more money from playing it. Let's test that theory. Uh, we said we can do this. I, uh, you know, random seed, by the way. I'm really nervous about messing this up. Other people have done similar kind of things on seeded runs. I'm trying to see if I could do the same on a random seed. I did spend, you know, like three or four hours re-rolling to get Perkeo, uh, because, you know, every Arcana pack has about a 1% chance to have a legendary and then, you know, one fifth of those are the ones that you want. So I had to open, you know, an average of like 500 Arcana packs to find Perkeo. Uh, let's see here. Celestial packs are giving me Pluto cards. Before I do that, I'm going to re-roll. There's a Pluto card. I guess since we used the Pluto card, we'll go ahead and use the other Pluto cards. Always trying to keep in mind, you know, what happens if we get a fool. And then, you know, the 1 in 20 times that you do get the fool uh, and it you know, you played around it correctly, then it feels very rewarding. Uh, Hangman, now is the time. Now I have the opportunity to remove that ace, finally. Uh, fool copying Pluto. See, that's the thing. Not that we necessarily could have played around it this time. But always... Always keep that in mind. It's always a possibility. You know, we kind of rolled past it, but there is some consideration for uh, DNA. When you use, you know, you play the one card, the high card, and then DNA will add a copy of it to your hand. And so DNA kind of is a plus one hand size. Though, you know, not a big enough deal to matter. Yeah, let's go ahead and use the Fool, and then use the Pluto, and then we'll save the Hangman. Of course, Cryptid is the one that gets copied, because we already have so many copies already. Uh, you know, 28 copies already. Um, let's go next. Remove the Ace. Uh, I guess that does put us in a slightly awkward situation where... I'm not able to discard. Oh well. Wait a second. I might not score enough. Maybe what I have to do is I have to play this. If it doesn't work, we could always use the Cryptid. But I'm pretty sure we'll be good if I play the gold one instead of the steel one. I don't know off the top of my head, you know, how big one card is. And we barely did it. Like I said, in an emergency, you could always use the cryptids. And that's what we will be doing in the future. All right, show me ectoplasm. 
or a negative showman. Moon again. You know, I only have the three diamonds. I'm tempted to <laughs> turn them into gloves. It wouldn't be hard. Uh, all right, that's it. We're going to save our money for not just interest, but save our money uh, in general because of the increasing reroll cost. No repeat hand types, no problem. We got a whole deck in our hand. Uh, with no repeat hand types, if we don't get it in one, we do die. I think. Maybe we could play a pair instead, though our pair, you know, the base is much weaker. That's like me as a human, I got a weak base. Also, my neck is killing me. I've been at, at this for a while. <laughs> All right, so we know that 10 to the 19th, that's not gonna do it. That's not gonna cut it. So we gotta keep that in mind. Uh, liquidation. So now, you know, these things, you can buy them and sell them for one. Let's see here. Before I open the Arcana pack, let's reroll. Reroll for information first. Emperor, fool, huh? How do I how do I grab? Eh. Keep rerolling. Pluto, sure. Bull is huge, but not big enough. All right, so that's it for re-rolling. You know, nothing too spicy. Let's go Arcana Pack. Or I'll go Celestial first. That way, if the Arcana Pack has a Hermit, I can copy the Hermit. Or if it's Temperance, he's a genius. Play the Temperance, copy the Temperance. Make sure Perkeo is in the precarious situation there. Position. There we go. Uh, do I want a rare joker? Looking for, I guess it doesn't matter. I, a random rare, I don't have room for it anyway. Really need ectoplasm. All right, Crimson Heart says, one random joker is going to be disabled. That is crushing. Uh, I guess there's always the random chance that it hits this negative erosion. And so maybe that's a case for picking up random negatives along the way. Um, hitting Perkeo would also be not killer. Let's think about that. How we can beat the boss. All right. If I do this, this is known to not win. If I do this instead... Uh, I've got some more triggers from this being steel, right? Because it's steel, and then you get all of these mime action here. And I think that's enough to take us over instead of 10 to the 19th, it'll be 10 to the 20th. Let's give that a try. We do know the optimal scoring configuration. We just need to move the barons. We could always make more steel cards. But I want to try to maximize my money for now. Alright. Calculated. Which means I don't need to move my mimes. I can keep maxing out on these uh, gold cards. Perkeo can go back here. Arcana pack. We just had the temperance. I would look like to try to get more of that. You know, like right here. Uh, let's do our re-rolling. 
Let's buy but not use Pluto. Respecting the fool. Wraith is not what we're into right now. Hermit is fine, in which case we could do this. We could go Pluto. Celestial pack. Uh, skip the rest, go Hermit next. And then even if we don't get to copy Temperance, at least we get some value out of a fool. Hangman, no. Oh, I should have taken the, si the sigil, right? The sigil just fixes this. <laughs> then, I, then I don't have to look at it anymore. Oh, well. Let's go next. We play the gold one and then we're good. What's the boss? Sorry, 1.7. Times 10 to the 21st. We do have three hands, so we can play more than one hand on the boss. Wait, so that's 1.725. Huh. <laughs> that would technically be enough. We'll see, we'll see what happens. Okay. Percaeo goes back here before I forget about it. Uh, Celestial Packs on Pluto. Let's reroll first. Temperance, great. Now we're, it's safe. Pluto. And then Temperance. And we can reroll Temperance. Something that I should figure out. What's, how many cryptids do I need? Oh man. There's so much stuff that would normally be exciting, but doesn't matter anymore. All right, the stinking boss. Disable random joker, go ahead. Mime? Uh, by the way, if this is debuffed, then the copies do nothing. Um, so, if I play a card, I have less cards in hand, and that's bad. All right. Let's go. So this was the optimal configuration, assuming steel. And then maybe if we lose a mime, maybe what I want is to pick up an extra mime. Maybe what I want is I want to use one cryptid just in case. And I think, is that gonna make up the difference? Let's use, I can always use a sec. Mm. Yeah, let's use another cryptid now. You know, I want the steel cards anyway for later. And so this will definitely work. This is way more safe than it needs to be. Yeah, one cryptid was enough. Hey, but if you are curious, this is what we're trying to do. You know, we were at 10 to the 21st, and then with a cut, you know, we lost one mime, but with just two cryptids, gave us, uh, you know, 10 to the 15th. That's huge. All right, uh, the kings go over here. So that Perkeo can go over there. Uh, let's see here. We've got 
Temperance is currently what Fool will copy. How are we doing on vouchers? Hmm, reroll voucher. So now I, I am at the point, I am at the point where there aren't really technically jokers that would help me except for, you know, maybe uh, the ectoplasm. And so is now the time, now the time when I want the planet merchant and then the other kind of merchant voucher. Let's do a quick check here. Under vouchers. Uh, I haven't seen these yet. I haven't seen hone and glow up. Uh, those don't mean anything to me. I do want overstock. That would be cool. Uh, I do want crystal ball for the omen globe. That could be cool. I guess there's like plenty of options. So I'm going to take this planet merchant and then that way, you know, there's one less voucher in the shop pool. Though the planet cards really don't help me. Okay, those things I don't need. The tarot merchant maybe could be good at this point. Full copying temperance. Great. So we've got the temperance. Now we can go celestial pack on the Pluto. Use temperance after. I love it that the plan is all coming together. Gift card was fun while we had it. Pluto. That's a no. I guess I could pick it pick it up. Nah. Right, we're already at level 67. Alright, go next. All right, what's the status here? Okay, so we got to get to 10 to the 25th. And let's do it this way. So this is the optimal scoring configuration. If we have blueprint and brainstorm for a total of four barons and three mimes, uh, in which case I'll play one of these. I'll play a gold one, just to test the waters. Uh, if it doesn't work, we could play the cryptid. All right, I'm bored of that already. Uh, what's the boss? Face cards are debuffed. That's not good. Hey, don't do that. Is there any way around that? Celestial pack is current. Oh, we've got a. Uh... There's just no way to do this, right? There's no way to beat all face cards debuffed because then we got the king action. So this is what we're gonna do. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go for. Let's just score as much as we can in the next round, and so that involves spending 100% of our money. Let's get absolutely wild so many things that don't matter anymore well he did say ectoplasm i guess ectoplasm man now i'm sad i'm sad that the run's gonna be over uh, we get the Baron, we get the Bean to make up for the Ectoplasm. Can I get, I guess, Invisible Jokers too late? Can I get a Showman? That's what I really want. Tell me in the comments what you want, what you really, really want.
Hey, we were rolling hot on those temperances, and it's been a while. Uh, chariot doesn't super matter. Emily. There's a Pluto. All right, let's just, here's all the Plutos. As sad as that is. Oh, I guess we could keep a one Pluto. And then that would be another times 1.5. All right, that's it, we're all out of gas. You know, it's been fun. It's been fun hanging out with you all. It's been nice knowing you. Let's, I guess, discard two. And, all right, let's use these cryptids. Oh, sweet, it stays selected. So I can spam them. Wow, this is going faster than I expected. Faster than I originally had planned. Not that it's especially fast, and I do apologize for that. I could probably edit this down, but if I spend less time on editing, then I get to spend more time just recording for you folks. Tell me in the comments what you want, what you want me to try to do next. What's going to be our next project? Uh, there are, you know, if we want to do this seeded, this currently is random seed, but if we want to do this as a seeded run, uh, there are, you know, a ton of very interesting seeds in the Blotro Discord. Sorry, Discord, not Discard. Um, for example, there's one seed that has like five copies of Soul, and so you can get every legendary in the same seed. That's kind of interesting. Uh, let's see here. The optimal scoring configuration we said look like this. All right, ship it. Yeah, we got the flames. We got the flames quite early. So, you know, the way I'm reading this is it's like this first chunk here is like 10 to the 30th, and so we got another times 30, or plus 30, plus 30, plus 30, plus 30. You need to get to, it's 10 to the 300th something. That's, uh, you know, what they say is the, the limit. At least as far as the, the game engine is concerned. sort of a limit in the antis scaling and so you know they just keep getting bigger and bigger you know uh, the next one is a uh, hundred thousand times and the next one is a million times bigger and the next one is 10 million times bigger and stuff like that um, and so you know kind of grows faster than you might you know naturally be able to scale um, and so you know eventually it reaches like I said that 10 to the 300th or whatever um, and then the game just records it as Nan, Nan Inf. Um, and so, Anti 39. Anti 39 is the last one that you can do. And so, if you want to make it all the way that far, what you can do is with Perkeo, store up your uh, cryptids. Um, you know, maybe you've got 200 or 300 of them. And then, you know, in Anti 25, maybe you use six of your cryptids and then the anti uh you know 26 you use 
10 of your cryptids and then something like that and then you kind of like calculate and then use as much as you need exactly and then you can actually even though you know it's scaling faster than you can scale you can keep up with it if you have enough cryptids saved up and uh, people have already done that and have already on a seeded run beaten or yeah I guess reach the highest ante that's possible after that the game just kills you well this is getting kind of silly it's, it's all scribbly all this whiteness this is a uh, my first time seeing this I hope this is your first time seeing it as well oh there it is this is it's off the charts it's infinity and we still got a long way to go actually <laughs> well you know at least it's easier to see what's going on here which is to say not more is going on you know not much is going on here oh that's interesting the flame sounds went away now it's just the Death Star sounds. It's charging up the laser sounds. This worked out kind of nice. We got the negative Baron, we got the negative Mime. Erosion hanging out. It was big for a second, and then now with all the cryptids. You know, we could do a deck peek here, we could see all the cards. I bet you some nerd in the comments is going to calculate, oh, even though it's stopped, even though it says it's going to be infinity or whatever, uh, you know, based on how much hand size we have and based on how many re-triggers that we have, I can tell you it's actually 10 to the, you know, 700th or something like that. Anyway, folks, that's going to be it for this one, basically. I don't plan on trying again. Not on, uh, what is it, random seed. I don't plan on, you know, trying to reach anti 39. Uh, it just takes too much damn time. This is what I really was going for. This is what I wanted uh, to get my first Nan Imp. Oh, there goes all the gold cards. At least there's only like six gold cards. <laughs> Alright folks, you let me know what you want to see, and then I will see you in the next one.